Hi and welcome to another Java lesson here. In this video we are going to cover some tricky questions in Java. So problem number one is this one. So if you have three different variables um, z, y, x, z is equal to 3, y is equal to 2, and x is equal to 1. And the question is what will be the outcome of this code? Or simply what will be the outcome of z at the end of this? So you'll notice that we have both post and pre increment or decrementing here. And that's the concept you will need to be solid on in order to solve this problem. So what's the difference between doing an increment after the variable and doing an increment or decrement before the variable? Now the key difference I can show you in this example. So say we have a which is equal to 2 and b which is going to be a post incremented plus 1. Now the difference between post and pre is that pre applies the increment or decrementing before anything else. Whereas post incrementing or decrementing applies everything else first and then increments or decrements the variable. So here we have post incremented we have plus plus signs after the a variable. That means 2 will not become 3 until this whole expression has happened. Or even better, until this whole expression has happened. Until b is assigned a value of a plus 1, this plus plus is not going to be applied. Meaning, b, when we print out b here, b will be 3 since a will still be 2 when it is added a value 1 and which will be the number that's going to be assigned to b. So let's see if that's what it is and 3. Now if you have incrementing before the variable pre-incrementing it will apply the incrementing first before anything else. So before even if it does this part and it does the assignment part, it will increment it first. So that means 2 will become 3 and then the rest will happen. So it will be 3 plus 1 and B will now have a value of 4 instead of 3. Right. So that's the diff so that's the diff that's the key difference between post and pre-incrementing or decrementing. So let's go back to this problem and try to solve it here. So you'll notice that x is incremented and it's post-incremented. The thing is pre and post doesn't really matter here since we don't have anything else other than incrementing. So x will become 2 no matter what. And same thing with y here, it will be decremented so y will be 1. Now this is the tricky part. right? So you gotta remember post is applied after, pre is applied before. So y plus plus, right? So this is after so we don't need to worry about this for, for now. So just keep y as is. So y is 1 so we have value of 1 here plus x is pre-decremented so the decrementing part will be applied first so meaning x is 2 but it will be decremented by 1 so it will now be a value of 1 here so 1 plus 1 plus notice the z is also pre-incremented so instead of 3, which is the value of z, we're going to have 4. So 1 plus 1 plus 4 will equal 6. Which is what we get. Now what do you think the value of x and y would be? In the end, the incrementing and decrementing will apply. So. So 
So that means y will be 2 and x will be 1. Alright, so that's question number 1. So that's tricky no question number 1.